eleven thirty a.m. right now, and I am finishing up uploading my vlogmas for today. I just finished editing it, and it's uploading, and we're already pretty much halfway through the day. It feels like I really don't have plans for today. Heather's birthday party is tonight, so she does have to come by to pick up her dress at some point. I am also invited to the party. I just don't really know anybody else there, so the chances of me going are quite low right now. I also just like I'm not in the mood to like go out. What I really want to do is clean my apartment and I feel like I say that in every video but like I don't know how it gets so like messy so fast or like dirty. Actually I do know. When I sew my apartment gets really really dusty because like I'm cutting up fabric and there's just like dust particles everywhere so it always just looks like I haven't cleaned in so long because it just gets so dusty so fast and there's like threads all over my floor because obviously they stick to my clothing and then like I move around the apartment and they like all everywhere so it's always just so messy when i'm sewing because of that so i just want to do another like deep clean of everything i also kind of want to do a like actual deep clean of like my samples and like clothing that i have that i want to get rid of i feel like i have quite a few samples and things that i just like don't really want that i might just do like a bigger sale on or something because i am tired of hoarding so much stuff. I also realized I still have the boxes from Teleport in my car that I need to bring in, but I don't have room to bring them in if I don't get rid of stuff. So I think we're gonna do like a cleaning deep dive into all my stuff today. That's kind of what I wanna do. But I'm gonna finish this up first just to get it out of the way and then we can kind of start to mess everything up to then clean it back up. By the time I finished all of that, it was already noon. So I decided to make a little soup. I was really cold this day. It actually got really cold in LA and my apartment gets really cold when it's cold out. So I made a little soup, which was so good. It felt very winter vibes for me. And then after that, I went like straight into working on Heather's dress and finishing up the lining because we ended up deciding to not put any more padding into it. So I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna finish it up and you can come pick it up and it'll be good, it'll be fun, you'll look great. Um, which in fact, she did. Stay tuned to the end for that. Okay, I think it's time for you guys to know the truth about my storage situation. So luckily I have a pretty like high bed, I guess, and it fits quite a lot of stuff under it. Like this is just like empty space, which is nice because I do have a lot of storage in this apartment. Like I have two full closets in my room. I have a little hallway with just a bunch of storage compartments. And then I have a closet in my living room that's my fabric closet that is really big but also very full of fabrics so I'm lucky that I do have a lot of storage but at the same time like I'm still running low all the time so I have shoved things down here and just forgotten about them because I just need to get things out of the way I'll shove it under there and it's not like fully full of stuff like it's like half full it's not actually that bad but I know that I have like samples and stuff down here that I should probably just like look through or get rid of or just like find a way to discard or reuse or something. These were my most recent ones that Lexi gave me. I made her a dress, this one, for LA Fashion Week in 2021, and she has grown out of it. Therefore, it's a perfectly good dress. I think I'm gonna sell it as just like a sample, like a discounted sample secondhand and TA. So that's something I should like list. And then she also grew out of the New York Fashion Week one that I gave her. This one looks like this. And then we had like fuck fast fashion written on the back. But I'm sure all those letters probably fell off because this was a very last minute one. But it is actually kind of cute. I'm not gonna lie. But there's makeup stains on it up here. I don't know if that's washable or not. I think I'm gonna try to wash it. And if it works out, I think I could just cut this one into like a top and skirt situation maybe or maybe I will keep it as a dress and somebody will actually want it like this I think it's cute but it's just kind of plain without the fuck fast fashion in the back so I need to figure out if I can clean this first and then maybe we'll dye it maybe we'll do something with it but that's something that I could also sell and get rid of that does not need to be just sitting under my bed and then we have the worst sample bag of them all is this one it's really not that big there's not that well actually there is quite a bit in it but this one haunts me. So in 2021, which is when I made this like collection with the purple dress and a few others, it was one of my favorite collections I made. I really liked it. It was one of the biggest ones, if not the biggest collection I ever made of just like having so many colors of things and styles and like I was really pushing it. That was the year, if you've been following along for a few years, that I decided to finally like bite the bullet and 
hire someone to help me with my pattern grading and she was doing great like she was fine for some of the pieces that I had done with her so I was like this is good I don't need to like double check everything which was mistake number one so I started using the patterns that she sent back to me for the sizes and I started making things and everything just seemed so small like so small to the point where I was making like a size two or like an extra small of something which is like my size and I would put it on as like it didn't fit me and then I realized oh my god I've been making all these orders all of these sizes are wrong like I have to redo all of these it turned out that she forgot to add seam allowance to the pattern so everything was taken in like an extra like couple of inches that should have been for seam allowance so it was a whole mess but that being said I ended up with so many made pieces that are just wrong sizes like they're just too small so I have a bunch of these like tied tops again all various different sizes but also the sizing is wrong so I never knew what to do with it because I didn't know what size to sell them as but I have a bunch of those in different colors I've got white I've got the like goldish color and then I have silver as well these tops were like the death of me because these were like my best sellers but they were the ones that had the most sizing issues which was just so tragic because i love these tops and i thought they were so cute and then i just never made them again because i was so traumatized from it but i have so many of these and then i also have this dress which is the same as the purple one but in tan which is really really cute so this one i made as a sample actually back when i made pieces for dodi to wear on tour she was touring around the states and she decided she wanted to wear pieces from like local designers at every stop and she stopped in indianapolis when i was still living there and obviously i probably had like zero competition to anybody else that emailed her so i made this dress in case she wanted to wear it because i wanted to have options for her she ended up choosing one of my other tops to wear but i technically did make this for her but she ended up wearing something else so it's actually never been worn, never been used. She did try it on though, so Dodie has technically put this on, but. And then I also have another purple dress that again, just was a sizing issue, which is tragic. So I need to figure out what to do with all these because they're like perfectly good pieces. Like they're all completely made and I would like them to at least be worn and not just like sit here forever. They've been sitting, I guess now for two years cause it's from 2021. So I think I just need to figure out the sizing on these and like what I can actually size them as, maybe do it by measurements or something and then just sell them at a very, very discounted rate. Like I don't mind selling these for like, I don't know, like 30, $40 instead of however much I was selling them for, I don't even remember but as you can see it's so many pieces of clothing so those are things i definitely want to get rid of that have been sitting here for a while and like i've known it and then my other issue is i still have two full boxes of samples that i was given by style guys which is the company i was working for when i first moved to la they don't particularly exist anymore they've dissolved but they gave me all their unused samples and stuff that they just couldn't sell because like the hems were off or like the stitching wasn't great or whatever and they're like if you want to upcycle these in any way like you're more than welcome to and they're really good quality like fabric and pieces but I just hadn't really figured out how to use them the only ones I've used have been the satin pants that I used to make this dress that I do have like all of them pre-made so if you want to shop those you're more than welcome to and um, they're on my shop but other than that dress I have not made anything else from any of these so I need to figure out something for them or just like donate them maybe have a sample sale or something I'm not really sure so we'll figure it out but I do have two boxes of that well I think maybe it's only one box what is this happening? No, it is two boxes. <laughs> okay, I think those are actually my only two boxes. I think I got rid of my other box of fabrics earlier this year because I did another clean out earlier this year of stuff. But I do have a bunch of like racks and stuff, like garment racks under my bed and other like random little junk on the other side. But I think for now I need to figure this out and just like list them, get rid of them somehow because I'm tired of having everything just under my bed. So for example, here's one of the tops. This is my marked as a size six, but I think it's probably closer to a size four. I do think it's a little bit big for a two. Like in my sizing, I'm a two because I'm a 32 chest. And I feel like it's a little bit too like overlapping slash like the back is a little bit loose. So I think it'd be better for like a 34, but it's marked as a size six, which is not correct. That for example is one, but like it's a perfectly good piece. Like it is, everything else is good. All the stitching is good. Like there's nothing wrong with it aside from just like the sizing was off. So there's this one. This one's also marked as a size six, but I think this one actually does fit more like a two. The other fabric like had a bit of stretch to it and this one does it. So that's also a huge difference. Like this is marked as a size six and it's definitely not. Like this fits me perfectly. What I did realize though, when I made these tops and why I didn't make them again is that I made them like these are non-stretch fabric 
and I added darts to it because I always fit it to myself and I did realize like if you're a 32 chest like I am, it's not gonna fit you the same way because I had customers that were also like, say a 32 or 34 or whatever, but then like this would be too small on them because they had a wider back and less of a chest versus like I have a smaller back and more of a chest. So that was also a factor that I didn't think about. So obviously if like I were to have a wider back, like this would come out more and like this would be a lot more in, which is not something I factored when I was using non-stretch fabric so that was also something that was hard for me to figure out so i just never put these out again but i think they're so cute and so fun and so good for the holidays so i think i am gonna just like list them on my website slash put them on my instagram stories because they're just so cute like they're so fun for the holidays but i do think most of them are like a size two to four there's not a huge variety but like i just want to get rid of them i think what i should do is film like a tiktok instagram reel of me like trying them on being like hey i've got samples i'm gonna do a sale just to put it out there because I think they're so cute and like they look good on and I feel like me putting it on is gonna be a little bit more incentivizing than me just showing a picture of like 2021. Okay, so I just added in all of these products. So here are the original pictures of these tops and I just put in the descriptions like all the different variants we have. This one is actually Lexi's dress that she wore. I think I mentioned that. So I put pictures of her in it as well. This one doesn't have any other pictures because I literally never wore it. Like it's an unused sample. And then I have a few sweatshirts that I also want to get rid of and a few pieces from this collection that I also want to get rid of. So I just like put them on sale because I just want to get rid of inventory. <laughs> okay, I got interrupted because Heather called me and she's coming in like 15 minutes to pick up the dress. Basically, I got everything on the website. It's published. It's up there. I made a little video for Instagram reels, TikToks, whatever. And I think I'm going to just post it right now. I just want to really push the inventory I already have. Like, I just want to get rid of all these pieces because they've been taking up my entire rack that's over here. And then obviously it's been under my bed forever. Just want to get rid of them. I don't even care that much about the money right now. Like, obviously it would be really nice to make a profit off of this, but I genuinely just want the space back and just like a clean slate because some of these pieces have literally been with me for two years. And I just feel like I need to really get rid of it. Which is also one of the reasons I hate pre-making a bunch of pieces or doing pop-ups because sometimes pieces just like don't sell for a really long time and then they just take up space and like I'd much rather be a made-to-order brand because of this, especially when I'm living in such tight quarters. So that's just another reason why I'd much rather be a made-to-order brand, but obviously it is fun to do pop-ups and to have pre-made things, but it just takes up so much space sometimes. So I'm gonna post this and hopefully all goes well, but yeah, Heather should also be here soon. So I'm gonna get ready to give that to her. Okay, Heather just picked up the dress and I really didn't want to go to this party tonight because I'm just so tired. I really want to go for her, but I'm so tired and have zero desire to like get ready and get dressed, but she's so excited. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get myself to go. We are gonna go. I'm bringing Liron with me because I can't go solo. But anyway, I posted on Instagram and TikTok about my sale and all of these items and everything. And we actually got an order. It has quite literally been years, I think, since I put something up and something is sold within like less than an hour. Honestly, it's probably been years since anything is sold within like the same day. Sales have been so, so the past few years. So it's quite nice to get an order like right away, which like, honestly, I put these up for like very, very cheap prices. Like if they are a steal, everything's under a hundred, which for handmade pieces that are in perfect condition have never been worn. Like that is really good. I just genuinely want to get rid of them. I'm not necessarily looking for a cash grab here. So I'm so happy about that. But I think I need to like recharge myself. I need to like eat. It's only 4.30, but I'm just like, I need to eat and prepare myself to like go out tonight. It should be fun. Heather's such a fun person. I just don't know any of her friends so I feel like I'm always like less willing to go places if I don't know that many people there She said she got a bounce house and everything for it So it should be fun and it's spy themed so basically like wear all black like very sleek James Bond vibes So it should be fun. I just like clearly haven't gotten ready in so long and I don't really want to but we're gonna do it And it's gonna be a fun time and I'm gonna come back and be like wow that was a great time I'm glad I went it just takes everything in me to get out of the apartment I then decided to make the last bits of my chicken strips for dinner and I saw a bug <laughs> and my actual reaction to it was so funny. I kept shivering because it was so gross um, and I just think it's funny that I caught it on camera. <laughs>
Okay, so I just did my hair, I figured out my outfit, and we are gonna do our makeup now. I just hung up with Liron and we were FaceTiming for a hot minute, so that is where I've been. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling energized now to get like ready to go. I do think I'm gonna still eat maybe one more thing before I go because I'm still hungry. And I don't know if there's gonna be food there or not. So you just never know with parties. So we're just gonna get ready. I still have about a little under an hour left, like maybe 45-ish minutes to finish up, which is not bad because I already did my hair, I have my outfit, it's just my makeup and it takes maybe 20 minutes to do my makeup max. So we can do it, chill. I'm gonna put on some music and just jam out for a minute. Okay, here's my final look. I did a pretty simple makeup look, nothing too crazy. Slicked back my hair. I feel like that feels very spy energy. I don't know if I mentioned this, but the birthday party is spy themed, so wearing all black for that. Wearing my little slip dress that I love. I've worn this one so many times since I made it, and genuinely, it is one of my favorite dresses. Just fits so well, and it's so comfortable. Have my leather jacket, obviously, and I'm wearing these little boots. I have better, like, spy looking boots, but they're not as comfortable, so we're gonna go for the more comfortable ones and I think I'm gonna drive myself there because I don't really drink so I don't have to like pay for an uber on my way back because I'm not gonna be drinking and it's also really close to me the only thing is parking Heather said it was not great for parking so I'm just gonna leave a little bit earlier try to get a spot somewhere in the area because it's just so close to me and I looked up ubers and they were like $20 and for me to spend $40 on an uber like there and back for it to be like a 10 minute drive from me when I'm not even gonna be drinking it just doesn't feel worth it so I'm just gonna leave early and like wander around the neighborhood and find parking somewhere. I'm probably like one of the only people that's driving to this party anyway. So I don't think it'll be too hectic, but Liron's meeting me there. She's Ubering there and we're gonna hang. I'm excited. It'll be fun. I'm like now pumped up and ready now that I like look good and I'm like awake again. But yeah, I don't know how much I'm gonna really vlog because I don't know anybody there and I don't like to vlog when I don't know people, but I'll probably get a few clips and that'll be probably the end of the vlog, but we will see. I'll catch you guys there. So I did in fact have a great time. Heather introduced me to some of her friends and we hung out all night and just partied up. It was super, super fun. And Heather also looked stunning in her dress. I'm obsessed with it. She also performed, she is a musician and it was super fun to just see her jamming out with all of her friends, looking stunning as per usual. And after the party, Lee, Ron and I and the couple of friends we made ended up going to In-N-Out because we were hungry and it was a great end of the night and we made some friends. So we love to see it.